played a few games of 8th edition now and we've come across a little bump in the road. It's uh, to do with shooting, uh, line of sight cover saves. Uh, we think there could be a problem here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a unit shoot at another unit. So we've got uh, a Terminator here, Death Watch Terminator with Assault Cannon. He's going to fire at this unit of Orcs. So one is out in the open, two are totally concealed behind that wall. Can't see them whatsoever. So we're going to go through a shooting phase. We're going to do this uh, in a tedious way. We're going to go to step one, choose a unit to shoot with. So we're going to select the Terminator, of course. Choose targets. We're going to choose this unit as the target. Uh, choose ranged weapon. He's only armed with an assault cannon, so we're choosing the assault cannon. Okay, so step four is resolve attacks. So let's read the first sentence of resolving attacks. Uh, attacks can be made one at a time, or in some cases you can roll for multiple attacks together. Uh, the following sequence is used to make attacks one at a time. So we're going to be really tedious and we're going to do this one at a time. So the assault cannon has six attacks. So step one, roll the hit. Let's say we hit. Step two, roll the wound. We wound. Uh, the orc player now allocates the wound. He's going to allocate it to the orc in the open. He then makes a save and throw. In this case it's not going to fly because this is AP1. Orcs only save on a six. So he gets shot without a save and throw. The damage is inflicted and he is killed. All right. So now we've got five more shots to resolve. So we'll go back to step one. Just says roll the hit. So there's nothing in here that breaks the chain uh, for line of sight now. So it's we've selected our target. The unit was uh, visible when we started to shoot. So these attacks still come through. So we'll go around again. Uh, roll the hit. Let's say we're hit. We're wound. Uh, the orc player now then has to allocate this wound to one of two orcs. So it even says in the wound allocation uh, bit that it says you even can allocate wounds to people who are not visible to the shooting unit. So that's fair enough. Uh, there will be times that that might happen uh, that you might want to take a different orc because it's abstract. You could see them running around in different formations but uh, with this wound he still has to allocate it to an orc. So let's say he dies as well. Four more shots, same process hit, wound, uh, has to be allocated to the last orc here and he is killed. Now uh, that is pretty bizarre that your shots go around the corner and that the, the shooting attack phase or the attack sequence is not severed by not having line of sight anymore. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is once that first orc is killed uh, these orcs don't actually have a cover save even though they're completely concealed, they've got the best cover you can actually get uh, because they're completely covered, that's what cover is. So these orcs don't even get a cover save because the rules for terrain and cover, so the first line of it says it all, it says uh, if a unit is entirely uh, on, so they're not on it, or within, and they're not within it, they're considered to be in cover. So they're not on it, they're not within it, they're just out in the open and they are killed without any protection. Uh, this happens to be a ruin in the rules, so you have to be on a ruin. Uh, it wouldn't qualify for a barricade either, so they would just be killed outright. So if that was, if that's what is intended, then, then that's one thing. So if that's how it was intended, that's, that's fair enough, but where it gets strange is is the other side of this is uh, this is the scenario now we've got uh, the Terminator it's going to fire at this unit of Orcs so the two are in cover one of them isn't because they're within that cover so uh, to qualify it says the entire unit has to be in cover to get a cover save so here because we've got one out of cover the unit is considered to be not in cover so that's fair enough to a degree uh, so we'll commence with the shooting phase same thing again uh, same targeting system, we, uh, alloc we hit, we wound, orc player allocates it to this guy so he does not have a save, so he's dead. Got five more shots, uh, let's say we're hit and wound with them all individually. So because this unit in the next step of the attack and now in cover, there's nobody who's not in cover therefore the unit, the entirety of that, the rest of that unit is in cover. So they're going to get a plus one to that cover save. 
So I mean that's that's okay, that's fine. Uh, but the problem is it's the it's the difference between having partial cover because that's what it is. Um, they're there. They're getting a cover save. We took the casualty from the guy in the open, which triggered the ability to get our cover save. Uh, but you're getting a better cover save there than you would if you were completely concealed. So if you're completely covered, you don't get any cover save. So that's uh, that is bizarre. Okay, we've just got another point to make. We've got uh, the the sort of system for cover here. We've got uh, using the core rules. You're either in cover for the unit or you're not in cover if even one of them is outside of that cover. So you either are or you're not. On a tall squad level, you've got to be in there. So if you go to the advanced rules for terrain, it still applies. We've got ruins here. It says infantry units that are on a ruin receive the benefit of cover. So let's say we've got a three-man unit of orcs here. They are on the cover. So these two still do not qualify for cover because one of them isn't on or within it. Pretend, even if this had sort of a base and a ground floor, if it stopped and he was just on the outside there. If he was just lingering outside of that cover, that would disqualify these from having cover because it's, a, it's the unit that needs to be on a ruin. So they'll be disqualified from having cover because one guy is spoiling the party. Uh, then we'll look at barricade. So this is where it is strange because the terminology changes from unit to model. So infantry models uh, that are within one inch of the wall on the right, of course on the on the right side of the wall from the fire uh, will receive the benefit of cover. So that's it's different, completely different. So it goes from unit to model. So if you're taking wounds, uh, let's say this this unit shot at this unit here, uh, you're going to take your first wound on the guy who would be technically in the open and then that would qualify that unit. So I mean as a game level that, that's okay if that's if that's the way it was intended but then the, to change the terminology where you'd say and if you're firing at this unit uh, you would start to take your saves on the people who've got a better chance of saving. So the ones in the open technically would still benefit from these being in cover so you would take your cover saves first Whereas here you would take the guys in the open first, so that is is bizarre. It's the same thing for creators, where it's, it talks on a model level, not a squad level. So again, we've got a three-man squad. Two of them are in that crater. They will get a personal cover save. He is out in the open, but he is not disqualifying this unit to get that cover, just as these three aren't disqualifying this three. Whereas uh, that orc who I took away. He is disqualifying that unit, so that is really weird. Just changing the terminology all of a sudden from unit to model. Uh, maybe that was a mistake, maybe it was intended. I just thought it was worth bringing up. Okay, and the final item on the menu is something that will crop up all the time, but uh, just doesn't seem to have rules for it is intervening terrain. So we've got a unit of Death Watch again, they're going to fire at these orcs uh, through a ruin with, without being impeded. The orcs are not in or on the terrain uh, but they're clearly obscured so that would uh, that's something if it was intended we're gonna have to get used to but uh, that's gonna happen all the time and it does feel a bit weird because there's a you think that's a hefty cover save of course I can understand uh, the rules for that if there's a wall here and of course they're not on the wall and that is clearly uh, the, in the open because there's, they don't deal with percentages anymore for infantry, they still do for vehicles, but with infantry, uh, it's very black and white, you either are or you are not. And even if you think you are, with, uh, with intervening terrain, which is going to be a big uh, portion of the game, it's always going to be there, uh, they still wouldn't qualify for that, so that is a bit weird. So if that is addressed, if it's the right thing or the wrong thing, that's slipped through the net somehow, uh, just would like some confirmation. Thank you.